I've had the uh, bomb for about two years, and people have asked for a review. Well, here it is, finally, on Taking Off. Hi, I'm Dan Milliken, and it's finally time to do the long-awaited review of Level Aviation's bomb. Some foundation. We are not sponsored by Level. Though we've been given an affiliate marketing link, I've decided not to use it to demonstrate how this is a fair and objective product review. And if you're somewhat new to the channel, one thing about us, we don't do product reviews where we basically pulled it out of the box and maybe, just maybe, used it a time or two. Right now, I have over 200 hours of flying with the bomb, and in many of our videos, you can see it out there on the wing. But in the spirit of full transparency, I want to add this. I have found the people at Level Aviation to be some of the nicest, smartest, and creative people on the planet. In our aviation community, I love finding the good guys who are pilots, who create amazing products. And I tend to root for these type of people over, say, the large corporations with uh, salespeople who aren't pilots selling pilot things to pilots. Well, Level is a family-run business with most or all of them pilots who came up with a discount solution to expensive problems, which brings us to the bomb. A self-contained, self-powered wireless AHARS. BOM stands for Broadcasting Outer Module. I'm not going to go through the setup and configuration of the bomb. There are some really good support videos at the Level YouTube page. And since I run a film and video production company, when I first got the bomb to demo, the videos they had were a little hard to follow. But since, they've created a line of support videos that are top-notch, not only in the production value, but in the way they pass along the information and the training on using the bomb. The setup is pretty easy once you've watched a video or two. Now, I will confess to overthinking it, making it harder on myself when setting it up. I've been forgetting to uh, connect the iPad to the bomb's Wi-Fi and, and then wondering why in the world it wasn't working and contacting their support, only to find it was my own stupidity. Also, since I've taken about two years from the time they sent me a product, the bomb and the app have gone through several iterations, and the one I'm using now is the latest. Yes, two years ago, I did have a technical issue, and customer support was top-notch. And I didn't think they knew who I was when requesting support, so I don't think they were just giving me top support because I was doing a review. And I backed this up with someone else telling me that they also experienced their support and reported the same. Really quick and helpful service from Level. All right, setup of the bomb on my certified Cessna 210 was fairly easy. Uh, during the annual, around the time I got the bomb, my mechanic took their included hardware and connected it to an access panel. Does that mean you have to have an A&P install it? Well, right now, if you've got a certified plane, then, well, yes, you'll have to have an IA sign off on it at least. For experimental, it's all you. Have at it. When I first got the bomb, it was attached to the mounting bracket via two small Phillips screws. And when I parked overnight at a municipal airport, I went ahead and unscrewed it and locked the bomb away. Now they come with Allen screws and I actually like that better. It's less common for someone to have the right Allen wrench to steal the bomb off my wing than a Phillips screwdriver. Once connected to your iPad, you have an AHARS that is ready to go. And when you pull up the level app, you can put whatever you want on the screen. You want a large attitude indicator, you've got it. Want to see a six pack? No problem. Want a monitor displaying ADSB traffic? The bomb provides it. Now back to that large attitude indicator. One of my favorite guests on the In The Hangar show is Joe Casey. And we did an episode on spatial disorientation. And Joe talked about how small the attitude indicators are on airplanes and how better it'd be to have a larger attitude indicator. I was flying IFR in IMC recently at night and I had my primary with my glass PFD but pulled up the larger attitude indicator on my iPad from the Level app and it really helped to stay orientated. A great secondary source for safe flying. And when you first install the bomb and get the app running, you'll set it up in flight. You'll fly straight and level and make the adjustments on the iPad to make it all accurate. And for the most part, I can come back days or even weeks later and it's still accurate. Uh, but a couple of times I have had to do some fine tuning while flying. Level has some good videos on all this on their website. 
I mentioned earlier on having issues. When I was first using the bomb, I would have some disconnects with the bomb to the app. And I believe now that this was due to some app conflict with ForeFlight and was really pleased when Level worked this all out. That hasn't happened in, in the last year that I've been using it. And not only worked it out, using the iOS feature of having two apps open, it became a very powerful tool. Um, have the ForeFlight with the Level app all on there at the second window. And when I started doing this, it changed the game for me. Up until this point in my head, I was writing a review that might've sounded like, you know, this is great for experimental, but I'm really not ne sure it's necessary for certified airplanes. But this feature changed that for me. Suddenly, the bomb could be integrated with my Cessna 210, with ForeFlight, that I could have them both. And it actually brought something that some of my other instrumentation couldn't, like angle of attack. Another thing, maybe they had this all along and I just recently noticed, or maybe it's a newer feature in their update, but it now has a G meter. I find that really useful. I like the heading bug feature. It's a small thing, but I found myself using it more than I thought I would. Also, the traditional coordination indicator was something I used more than my small glass one with the small bar under the tiny triangle. The bomb's traditional bubble is much easier to read. And recently, and this is why I like using the product a lot before reviewing, uh, something happened that totally 100% sold me on the bomb. I was on a long cross country in my 210 just starting, which has the old small glass, uh, and then something went wrong with the glass inside Bravo airspace. And I was showing a huge 120 knot wind at 4,000 feet. And I was being told by ATC to fly a heading that clearly I wasn't on. It didn't feel right. Fortunately, it was VFR flight. A quick glance showed me the glass heading indicator was more than 40 degrees off of the compass. And ATC had me turning. Compasses are, of course, hard to read when turning. Everything was happening fast inside a Bravo. But I had an ace in the hole on my iPad, a backup secondary AHARS. I had the bomb up and could quickly read my heading and turn out to the now correct vector from ATC. The bomb saved my butt in that moment. And this was the beginning of a six and a half hour VFR cross country with the bomb giving me a more accurate heading, four flights sharing the iPad screen with the level app, I could confirm I was flying magenta. I didn't need my glass PFD. This experience alone, not counting all the other features I mentioned before, this experience alone has sold me on the bomb for certified. There might be times you need a backup AHARS and when you do, you'll be thankful you have it. Another user error on my part. Early on, I was sad the analog speed indicator only went to 140 knots. Lola can do more than that, so I was pegging the analog style gauge, and then I went ahead and finally updated the setup with Lola's numbers, and boom, the analog went up to 200. So go ahead and go through all the customization to get the best use out of the bomb. If you buy and install a bomb, be prepared to be stopped at airports and asked about it. Yes, the cool factor of that is is real. People are intrigued. All right, so bottom line, the bomb saved my butt that day on that long cross country. That alone gets a huge thumbs up from me. I give it a strongly recommend. So go buy it now. That's my review. Thanks for watching and thanks to my sponsors like Z-Vision. They make the brightest landing and taxi lights in the industry. Clemens Insurance. I called Jerry and he was able to get my insurance reduced. Saved me a lot of money. That's a no-brainer. And 67 Designs. Absolutely love my new knee board for my iPad. Great mounts made in the US of A. Of course, Flying Eyes. We were customers before they sponsored us. I do a lot of cross-country flying and these are great under headsets and helmets. MPS, Personal Security Elevated, and Colton Mortgage for Residential Mortgages. Check out all our sponsors below in the description. They're pilot-owned companies with great products and services. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget, superior judgment trumps superior skills, and we'll see you next time.